the modern scientist. When we talk about motion, we know that distance refers to how far we move. It can be measured in metres, kilometres or centimetres. We also know that speed is about how fast we are moving, calculated as distance over time, and measured in units such as metres per second or kilometres per hour. But we also need to learn about vectors. I'm applying for a new villain loan. Go by the name of Vector. It's a mathematical term, a quantity represented by an arrow with both direction and magnitude. Vector! That's me, because I'm committing crimes with both direction and magnitude. Oh yeah! <laughs> okay, so we don't really need to know about him. But he is right. Vectors have direction and magnitude. For example, displacement is a vector quantity used to explore the distance between two points. It tells us not only how far away the points are, but also the direction from one point to the other. So let's look at an example. I drive 30 kilometres each day from my house to school. This is the distance that I travel. However, the school is only 10 kilometres south of my house. So my displacement is 10 kilometres south. Note that it has direction, south, as well as the magnitude, 10 kilometres. If I drive to school and return home again, my total distance is 60 kilometres, but my displacement is now zero. Another vector quantity is velocity. This is a measure of speed in a given direction. Note that it will have both direction and magnitude. It is calculated as displacement over time. So if we look again at my trip to school, when I drove 30 kilometres to school, it takes me 30 minutes, or half an hour. Therefore my speed can be calculated as 30 kilometres divided by half an hour, which equals 60 kilometres per hour. However, my velocity is different. Since I have a displacement of 10 kilometres south, my velocity is 10 kilometres south divided by half an hour, which comes to 20 kilometres per hour south. So what will happen on a round trip? As we saw earlier, if I return to my starting point, my displacement becomes zero. And so if it takes me one hour to drive to school and back, my velocity will become zero kilometres per hour south. 